Hey now Take a step outside and seize the day now So when you come to St. Simon Island, you're gonna get hungry and we're gonna show you where to eat. All right, so our first night, we're heading over to Porch for dinner, where they're known for their uh, Nashville hot chicken. Uh, but you don't have to get it really hot, so you probably get yours wild, right? Right. All right, let's head over. So Porch is located uh, right on Ocean Boulevard, right off of the uh, pier area. And uh, again, this is all within walking distance of the hotel we're staying at. Looking forward to some southern chicken. Now, Porch is known for their southern fried chicken with various degrees of hotness, up to Nashville hot and beyond. So this place is pretty cool and actually very popular. You uh, order inside where we just were, and then you can sit inside, or you can sit out here on the porch, or if you like, you can sit outside there where a lot of people are sitting, as you can see. Within a few minutes, our fried chicken dinners arrived. All right, so I got the Nashville hot, and it actually has a good amount of heat to it. Chicken is good, um, could be a little more juicy, but it's actually uh, very good, and the heat is actually perfect, just like Nashville. Now your Sue is uh, naked, no spice. How is it? Crunchy. <laughs> good? It's crunchy, it's good. Now the truth is we both found our chicken a little bit dry. So I asked for a little extra sauce to moisten up the meat. The total was $35 with tip and tax. Now, if you're looking for ice cream when visiting St. Simons Island, Moo Cow's got you covered. And it's just a short walk from the Village Pier. Hey, and after dinner, if you're looking for some ice cream, head over to uh, Moo Cow. Moo Cow right over here. Now, only one group's allowed in at a time, so you wait outside until the group inside is gone. She just waves you in, then you can go in. And uh, they have some great ice cream here. What'd you get? Blueberry cheesecake. Oh, and Yum. I got caramel. Really good. Yours is good. Our total cost was about $12. Okay, looking for barbecue with the laid back uh, atmosphere. We're trying this place for lunch. Beachcomber Barbecue is just a short drive from the Village Pier area, and we had heard that they have great barbecue. So it's a pretty simple setup. You order at the window and then pick your seat. At the table, they offer two different barbecue sauces. So you got vinegar based um, and sweet barbecue. The barbecue was delicious, and we really liked their outdoor seating arrangement. Total cost for our lunch was about $22. Now another great place for lunch or for breakfast is the Palm Coast which is within walking distance from the Village Pier area. So one of the locals we met last night suggested coming to the uh, Palm Coast for either breakfast or lunch. We're going to try it for, for lunch and see how it goes. The Palm Coast has indoor and outdoor seating. And since it was a beautiful day, we sat outside. Our food arrived quickly and was absolutely delicious. We would definitely recommend the Palm Coast. And the total cost for our lunch, including tax and tip, was $35. Now, if you're looking for a happy hour, we found a great place within walking distance from the village called Mullet Bay. All right, so tonight we'll be heading out for a happy hour at Mullet Bay, Mullet Inn. Mullet Bay. I Mullet think. Bay, we think yeah. um, they're supposed to have a happy hour, the only one we could find in the area. So uh, let's see how it is. Now, Mullet Bay has indoor and outdoor seating, but we headed to the bar area to take advantage of the happy hour. And that's where we met some very friendly locals who filled us in about the area. We were hungry. So we had a total of three appetizers and two drinks each. 
And after two drinks, what do you got to say? I can drink this water. Yeah, the good thing is we can walk to our hotel. Total cost for four drinks and three appetizers was $35. All right, last night here, and we're heading to the Iguana restaurant, which is like a casual seafood restaurant. I think so. Yeah, it always seems crowded. It has a pretty good recommendation, so we're going to see how it is. The Iguana Seafood Restaurant is located right on Mallory Street, just a short walk from the pier. And don't let the outside fool you. The inside is new looking and rather spacious. They have an extensive seafood menu and also some steaks but we had heard that their shrimp is absolutely fabulous. Okay, so this place is known for its uh, shrimp, uh, Georgia shrimp, fresh Georgia shrimp, so we're both going for the shrimp dinner. I'm getting mine blackened and you're getting yours... Broiled. As you can see, the Iguana restaurant has plenty of seating, which must come in handy during the summer season. We enjoyed our drinks, and within no time, our shrimp dinners arrived. So it comes a coleslaw on the side, some hush puppies, kind of like what you get in Merle's Inlet. And Sue got it broiled, and mine's blackened. All right, let's try this shrimp. We got some sauce here. And, uh, that's good. That's good shrimp. Nice and fresh, you can tell. Thumbs up. We both thoroughly enjoyed our shrimp dinners. And we're not just saying this, but it was one of the best shrimp dinners we've ever had. But there's more. Save some room for ice cream. All right, so our waitress just informed us that at the end of every meal, you get free, that's free, soft serve ice cream. So what do you have to say? You have to save some room for ice cream. That's right, you heard correctly. Every meal includes free of charge soft serve ice cream including all the toppings the kids are gonna love this hey i'm not just saying this but that was one of the best shrimp dinners i think i've ever had and we've had a lot of shrimp dinners and the waitress told us that their restaurant was voted the best shrimp dinner place in the last eight years in all of Georgia. And I believe it. It was really good. And then the free ice cream. Yeah, you like those sprinkles. Yeah, I like those you? sprinkles. That was a nice surprise. So I think overall, if you're coming down here, I definitely would uh, check out Iguanas. They, they have a really big menu and uh, the shrimp is excellent. Now, before we go, I just want to say one thing. We've only been here for three days. There are enough restaurants in the area around Mallory Street um, that you could go to a different place every night if you're staying here for a week to 10 days. There's that many choices in a very small area, all within walking distance. So I uh, hope you enjoyed our review, right? Right. Definitely come down here and check this place out. So until next time, safe travels. Mm -hmm.